project IC is all created by AMNO BN. They form an AMNO task force in Sabah. The job is to look for foreigners, find a way to give them IC and find a way to register them as an electoral role. Now, talking about PTI in Sabah, first of all, what is PTI? A lot of us in Sabah thought PTI means you are paperless even if you are holding so-called Project IC, they are all termed PTI. So let me tell you, PTI means one, paperless, which means they are completely without any papers, undocumented. If you found people without any paper, arrest them, detain them, and arrange repatriation. Number two are those stateless people. We call them stateless because they are born here and maybe one of their parents have left them. They are without documents, they are stateless. Without documents, but they have found out that one of the parents is local, then we find out why the child is without documents. That's also not difficult to handle. Number three, those who are with certain documents like IMM 13, Burung Burung or Sijil Banchi. They are allowed to work and stay in Sabah and Labuan, but they are not allowed to go to Malaya. You cannot force them to go back to their country of origin unless they are involved in criminal activity. And then for the IOM 13, their further entitlement. After 15 years, entry permit will be given to them. And by then, once you get the entry permit, then you could apply for PR status. And the fourth one are those people who have our Malaysian IC. We call the Project IC people or Project IC citizens. In the RCI, it's mentioned without any shadow of doubt, those six who are ex-NRD staff in Sabah, including two ex-directors, unanimously said, under directive from their superior, they have to do this to increase the Sabah Muslim population and the voters. This is said in the RCI. This problem, including this project IC, is all created by AMNO BN. They form an AMNO task force in Sabah. The job is to look for foreigners, find a way to give them IC, the project IC, so that register them as AMNO members and find a way to register them as the electoral role. This AMNO task force was first mentioned during the Parliamentary Select Committee on Integrity, chaired by Tan Sri Bernard Nompok in 2006. Jabar Khan was the secretary of this AMNO task force. He told the committee that Sabah AMNO task force job is what I said just now. Saya masuk di Pejabat AMNO mula-mula di bangunan usia pergi berjumpa dengan yang pengerusi tak silap saya yang bernama Jabatan diarahkan saya sebagai kempen mencari orang yang boleh menambahkan undi Melayu. Soon after that, Jabatan went to Haraka, the past newspaper. And he told everything what he said to the Parliamentary Select Committee on the Integrity. So Haraka printed out everything what he, he told them. I hope the Sabahan, especially you youngster, think about us, Sabah problem, how to solve this without the federal interference. We know they have the agenda, but we have to find a way how to circumvent this to help us Sabah.